Hi everybody, welcome to the next in my series of updated for 2024 beginner's guide to modding your PC Daisy community server. And in this one, we're going to be looking at vehicles and how you can spawn vehicles in complete. So they've got the wheels and the doors and the battery and the spark plug and the radiator in them, that sort of thing. Uh, very, very useful because obviously a lot of the time in DayZ, one of the reasons why you want your own server is so that you get to experience driving vehicles around because it's incredibly difficult to get them running on community on uh, official servers. But before we start, I'd like to remind everybody that this is a series of videos. And in the description below this video, you'll find a link to the playlist, not only for this set of videos, but if you're coming to this from console, there's a uh, console guide as well, because things are slightly different. Most of the stuff's very similar, but some of it's slightly different that you might want to go through. Also, you'll find a previous and a next video link, because I'm trying to record these in a bit of a logical order. So if you are new to all of this, each video kind of builds on the knowledge of the next until you know we get to the final point, which will be really your starting point of moving on to much more advanced, advanced, advanced modding. Also, you have to forgive me the fact that I've recorded a lot of videos today, and my voice is starting to. Well, my voice doesn't go, but I start to get a little bit um, dry. Um, even if I, you know, drink lots of drinks, I probably need some honey or something like that. But let's get started. So the file we're interested in is our CFG spawnable type. So if we go over to our dashboard on our server, I use Nitrado as an example because that's where I've got my PC server. And then we go into the file browser. And then we go to the uh, DAISY standalone, if you see that. And then we go to the missions folder, MP missions. And then this is a Chernerus server, so I'm gonna go into the Chernerus folder. If it was Livonia, I would go into Enoch. And then we come down. Now we're looking for CFG spawnable types. There it is, CFG spawnable types. Now, I don't recommend you try and do this on your browser, on your PC, uh, on the web browser, because it's a little bit complicated. So let's download it. And it's going to be in our downloads folder. There it is. And I'm just going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it um, cars with stuff like that. And then we're just going to paste that into there. And we're going so, ooh, so there we go. So there it is. So CFG spawnable types. Now my computer has added seven brackets after it because, as you can imagine, as I'm making lots of these videos, I'm constantly re-downloading the same files. If we want this to work on our server, we need to make sure that we would get rid of that first. But also, it serves as a reminder that this is our edited one. So, if we edit this with Notepad++, let's just shut down these as well. Here we have our CFG spawnable types file. Now the CFG spawnable types file, it tells the server when it spawns something in, should it spawn in with something else? Um, for example, um, one of the easiest uh, examples is probably, um, guns. So as you can see, so there's a gun entry for the M4A1 gun. And it says to the server, when you spawn in an M4, these are the chances that this M4 should spawn in with the bits. Now I've edited this, so it's a bit better. Um, <laughs> we did that in a previous video. So it should always spawn in with the uh, buttstock, the plastic handguard, and uh, there's a fish. Most of the time it will spawn in with the carry handle optic but it's got a 30% chance of spawning in with one of these mags. 30 round, 20 round, 10, or a 40 round, that's the one you want, isn't it? Of various percentages there. Now the cars, the vehicles are just the same. So I'm just gonna do a control F, and I'm gonna search for hatch. There we go, off-road hatchback. And that takes us to the beginning of the vehicles. So let's start off with type off-road hatchback. So there's the whole of the entry, there's the beginning of the entry with the class name, off-road hatchback, and there's the end type. And um, as we go down, we can see we have hatchback wheels, so this was five wheels, because spare in the back, the radiator, the battery, the spark plug, headlights, doors, driver's doors, etc., and the and the, the trunk or the boot as we would call it in the UK. And each one of these has an attachment percentage. So 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 the attachment percentage is one hundred percent. But 
the actual percentage chance of the hatchback wheel spawning in on this vehicle is only 80 percent so you have an 80 percent chance of spawning say the front left wheel then 80 percent chance of the front right and then that and so on and so forth so if we want this to always spawn in with everything we need to change the chance equals whatever to 1.00 so what i can do is if we very very carefully do this we can then very very carefully just paste that over the top like that like that now what we could do if we want to be really um, clever we can do something like this so we've changed those man uh, by copy and pasting and we would do that for all of them. In fact, let's do it all manually first, and then we can do the clever way afterwards. So this is the radiator. That's the battery. That's the spark plug. That's the headlight. That's the other headlight. Driver side door. There we go. Bup, bup, bup. There's the bonnet. Oop, I almost did it wrong. And there is the trunk or the boot and let's save as we go along so if we were to um, change the name of this just the CFG spawnable types XML re-upload that to our server restart the server then the uh, off-road hatchback would have when it spawned it would spawn in with all these things already however the radiator would be empty so you'd need to add water to it and the fuel um, would uh, be empty as well so you'd need to find some fuel and pop it in now at the end of this video I'm going to show you how you can download a file that already has all these things already done for you and also has stuff that will spawn in the back of the vehicles like fuel and guns and food so you can make it a little bit more fun as well so you would go through all of the vehicles and do that but let's let's do it in a slightly should we do it in a slightly better way so what we could do is we could copy this so copy chance left click up above do control F go to find and replace and paste in so control V chance equals 0.8 highlight that do control V and change this to 1.0 uh, ooh 1.00 like so and then what we can do is we could go and just making sure it's just the vehicles highlight all of that um, and in here we could say in selection replace all dunk so there we go so all of the 0.8s have been changed to uh, ones in the selection so what we could do now is if we scroll down a bit as well we could look for other so so here we have 0.6s so we could say change 0.6s to 0.1s replace all so they've all done then there's 0.4s so I change 0.4s replace all oh yeah, in selection but make sure in selection is selected because we don't want to do other stuff. Then what, what have we got here? Point 0.3. So change point 0.3, replace all. And then we've got point 0.2. Point 0.2, replace all. I think that's probably all of them. I'm just looking to see the, the just check the say, say one after each other. Bum, 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 bum. get down to the trucks in a minute here we go trucks all right here we go so headlight hate set so we've got 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 replace all and then in fact it was near the bottom wasn't it sedan uh, then we got 0 0.5 there, we so 0 0.5. Oh, 0.50, replace all five occurrences. And I think now, let's scroll down to the bottom and work our way up. All oh, right, there we got 0 0.1. So we've still got a 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, replace all. Scroll down to the bottom. Scroll back up. So all of these should be ones now. 
there we go so that's so that's done so we would save that and then what we could do is we would go to here now what I have to do is I've got to change get rid of that so it just says CFG spawnable types it is an XML so it's the XML before we upload it to our server though we want to go to our XML validator we want to choose the file we want to go to downloads we want to go into cars with stuff click that open validate no errors are found absolutely marvelous so what we could do now is we're back on our server click on upload file cars with stuff CFD portable types open that up that uploads it over the top of the existing one and then we could restart the server and those changes would slowly start to take effect now please bear in mind however that all the vehicles that have already spawned in that aren't complete are still going to be on the server until their lifetime has gone so remember how we were looking at types that XML and generally the average lifetime for most things is 14,500 seconds so when the server spawns something in it stays there for that long and then it will disappear and the server will spawn something else probably in a different location as well so it can take a while for these things to take effect off the best time to do these is when you've got a fresh server install before the server's running and then you have all these files in place but it will slowly help now if watching that you're thinking oh that all seemed a bit complicated and i haven't really got the time you'll find a link in the description below this video as well to my github repository and what i have in my github repository something i'm known for doing is that every time there's an update for daisy i produce boosted loot files for chernerus and livonia and what these files include is amongst a lot of other things complete vehicles which have stuff in the back so complete trucks complete off-road hatchbacks complete hatchbacks com complete uh, humvees all that sort of stuff um, and so what you can do is you can click code you can click download zip you can download this selection of files you can have a read of the readme all you have to do is upload these files over the top of the existing files on your server and then restart it and those changes will take effect now these files include a lot of other things as well like more food and, and stuff like that but you can read the readme to see that what that includes but that will save you the legwork of having to add things to um, vehicles and it'll also help you to understand how you add stuff in the inventory of vehicles as well basically you add something as an attachment at the end and it'll put it in the boot if it can it'll put it in the the back um, if if it can um, and it's as uh, it's as simple as that to make a really nice change to your server which means that players can get a vehicle running um, comparatively easily they just need to find the fuel and the water so there we go hopefully you found this video useful my voice is about to go thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon